Welcome to the last to last year of peace times. Very soon, Nicholas II will officially declare Germany as an enemy. That will be the beginning of the First World War. In 1917, crowds will spill into the streets of Petrograd. That will be the beginning of the Russian Revolution. This year, the Tsar is busy with the royal occupation. He is hunting at the residence in Spala. In the capital, the Fabergé firm is making a gift for the Romanovs, a jewelry Easter egg for the anniversary of the Patriotic War. Dagolev's Ballet's Russes take place in Paris for the fourth time. The headliner is Afternoon of a Fawn, the one-act ballet by Václav Nizhinsky. Meanwhile, future Russian avant-garde icons take the art scene. Kazimir Malevich demonstrates more than 20 paintings at the Scandal Donkey's Tail exhibition. Vasily Kandinsky releases his scientific investigation about the nature of abstraction. Paintings of Marc Chagall are finally accepted for the Salon d'Automne. But the greatest sensation was made by Bathing of the Red Horse, the latest symbolic work by Kuzma Petrov Vodkin. Members of the World of Art Society even call it a flag which unites everybody. Do you hear the sound? We are in Hvalinsk, a hick home town of Petrov Vodkin. You do know this plot. However, some said that Petr Fotkin just painted Bathing of Peas and Boys and at first the masterpiece was an everyday life scene. Of course, the Bolsheviks preferred more of a mystic version. By now, it is believed that the Red Horse is a prediction of changes, a symbol of the old regime falling. Politic events of 20th century have left the painting in Sweden for a few tens of years. Finally, it has been returned to the USSR and now it exhibits in the new Tretyakov Gallery in Moscow.